Hello and welcome to the episode 253 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. A focus on early gigs, some songwriting for the Rolling Stones, and the wildest session in the Beatles' career are some of the stories we'll be focusing on today. Let's start with the usual Hamburg engagement. On the 10th of September 1960, the Beatles, in their quintet lineup featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed yet another night at the Indra Club for the continuation of their first residency in town. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles, now a four-piece with Paul McCartney on bass and Pete Best still on drums, performed at the Casbah Coffee Club in Liverpool. 1962. The Beatles, in their definitive lineup with Ringo Starr on drums, played twice in the same day. First, there was another two-hour lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. It was the band's 230th time on the club's stage. Then, at night, they were in witness for the second of three Monday evenings at the Queen's Hall, in another event promoted by NAMS Enterprises. 1963. Beatles historian Mark Lewison notes in the complete Beatles Chronicles that on this day, John Lennon and Paul McCartney finished I Wanna Be Your Man in a rehearsal room of Studio 51 Club, where the Rolling Stones were preparing material for a recording session. Previously, John and Paul had also been busy attending a luncheon organized by the Variety Club of Great Britain, at the Savoy Hotel, where they received the award for Top Vocal Group of the Year on behalf of the Beatles. As far as I'm concerned, though, no prize can top your love and support. You know the score. Go to www.simonmas.com support and, yes, indeed, find out all the things you can do to show me how fab you are. Thank you! On the 10th of September 1968, the Beatles were at the EMI Studios between 7.00 pm and 1.00 am to complete the recording of Helter Skelter. In what was probably the wildest and weirdest session of their whole career, the four put their minds to the recording of overdubs on the rhythm track taped on the previous day. Paul laid down all the screaming vocals, George was busy with the lead guitar track, and John and Beatles assistant Mal Evans had a go at playing, respectively, saxophone and trumpet, without having much clue of the workings of the instruments. But there was more than screaming and amateurish playing going on. The atmosphere was utter madness, to the point that while Paul was recording his lead vocal part, George started running around the studio with a Nash tray on fire tied above his head, a la Arthur Brown. Madness and good times, indeed. If you fancy, come join me tomorrow for the third ever Beatles session in Abbey Road, the one which saw the recording of the band's debut single. Today's episode ends here. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.